Good evening. My name is Lisi, and tonight we are going to meet a family of foxes on a very special and snowy evening. Once, there was a family of foxes who lived in the forest. They lived in a big underground house called the burrow. Mom fox and dad fox dug the burrow with her own four paws. The burrow was a very nice place to live. It had plenty of space for the foxes to play games, read books, and share family meals around the table. In the hot summer, the burrow was nice and dark and cool. But this story isn't about the summer. It's about the winter. And in the winter, the burrow was warm and cozy. It had a dirt ground that was soft to lie on. It had lots of blankets to snuggle up in. And for some reason, no one knows why, it always smelled like cinnamon. It was probably because the foxes loved to drink cinnamon tea. Now, one thing you should know about the fox family is that, like all foxes, they like to sleep during the day and wake up at night. They liked the night because they were so good at seeing in the dark. And so, one night, the foxes woke up like they typically did thinking that it was a night like any other night. But they didn't yet know that this was a very, very special night. Silver Fox woke up first. He was the oldest of the fox children. He was named Silver because he had a ring of silver fur around his tail. Silver Fox knew a lot about many things and he liked to tell everyone about all the things he knew. Silver climbed down from the top bunk and nuzzled his little sister, Twitch Fox. Twitch slept on the bottom bunk. She had bright orange fur and a soft, white belly. She was named Twitch because her nose twitched whenever she had a big idea. And Twitch always had a big idea. Twitch pulled the covers over her head. She was having a really fun dream where she and her brothers were playing in the forest, and she wasn't ready for it to end. Swift Fox sat up in a small corner bed and rubbed his eyes. Swift Fox was the youngest fox, and also the fastest. He loved to run. Swift Fox had orange fur like his siblings, but his paws were white, like he had stepped in a bowl of milk. What time is it? Swift Fox asked his brother and sister. Time to play, said Silver Fox and Twitch Fox at the exact same time. Yep, yep, yippee, Swift exclaimed. The Fox children happily bounded into the living room of the burrow where Mom Fox and Dad Fox were already awake. Mom Fox was reading a book by a warm fire, and Dad Fox was enjoying a hot cup of cinnamon tea. Mom and Dad's faces lit up when they saw their children scamper into the room. Swift climbed into Mom's lap and gave her a nuzzle, then just as quickly leapt up and ran in an excited circle around the room. What are you all so excited about? Mom asked. Twitch answered, We've got plans for tonight. Big, big, big plans. We're going to go out and play in the forest, said Silver. That's a wonderful idea, said Dad. What are you going to play? All the fox children had different ideas about what they wanted to play. Silver wanted to go on a scavenger hunt and look for leaves. Twitch wanted to go to the pond 
and jump in the water with a mighty splash. And Swift wanted to race around the forest, which surprised no one. Mom and Dad told them to have a good time, and so Silver, Twitch, and Swift climbed out of the burrow, excited to look for leaves, jump in the pond, and race around the forest. But when they poked their heads up out of the burrow, they were astonished by what they saw. The forest was completely covered in a blanket of soft, white snow. The flowers on the ground were dotted with frost. The grass was so snowy it looked like each blade was covered in tiny crystals. All the tree branches were dusted in white. They sparkled in the moonlight. Snow was piled high against the tree trunks. Silver, Twitch, and Swift looked at the peaceful scene in quiet awe. The forest was truly a winter wonderland. Silver, Twitch, and Swift leapt out of the burrow and romped around in the snow. As they ran, their paws made soft, crunching noises. Soon, the white ground was dotted with their paw prints. The foxes kicked up clouds of soft snow as they laughed and played. The forest was quiet except for their laughter. Above them, stars twinkled brightly in the black sky and the moon shone bright. The air was cold. It felt crisp and refreshing on the foxes' faces. And their thick fur coats kept them pleasantly warm. They chased each other in circles, wrestling and jumping around in the snow until Silver stopped running. Twitch and Swift crashed into their brother, and they all tumbled into a snowy heap, laughing and panting as they caught their breath. Once Silver had recovered, he reminded his siblings about their big plans. And so, the foxes began the leaf scavenger hunt. It turned out to be even more fun in the snow, as they searched the forest floor, they brushed aside the snow with their tails and found leaves like hidden treasures. Silver knew all about leaves. When Swift found a bright red leaf, Silver told him that it was a leaf from the tall, mighty oak tree. When Twitch found a leaf that was as big as her ear, Silver told her it was a leaf from a poplar tree. Silver could tell it was a poplar leaf because of its round shape. Then Silver found a leaf himself that was so special to him that he tucked it in his fur to bring home to the burrow. It was a maple leaf with three points, and it had a streak of silver, just like the ring around his tail. When the scavenger hunt was finished, the foxes agreed to follow Twitch's plan go to the pond and jump in the water. Swift led the way to the pond, with Twitch and Silver just behind him. The foxes darted through the trees. They scrambled over snowy roots and crawled through a big, snow-covered log on the ground. But when the foxes reached the pond, they realized they wouldn't be jumping in. The pond was completely frozen over. The surface was a silvery sheet of solid ice. And there were even other forest animals joyfully sliding across it. The animals' claws made soothing sounds as they gently scratched the icy surface. I'm sorry, Twitch. We can't jump in the pond while it's frozen, said Silver. But Twitch wasn't sad. In fact, her nose was twitching excitedly as she told her brothers to follow her lead. And with that, she ran onto the ice. With the wind blowing through her fur, Twitch slid so fast, she felt like she was flying. 
Silver and Swift joined Twitch and the other forest animals out on the ice. A family of raccoons held hands as they slid around in a perfect circle. A brown badger with black and white stripes on her face slid around in the shape of a figure eight. A group of gray mice slid back and forth. They were so light and tiny that their claws didn't even scratch the surface of the ice. Silver gracefully slid around the outer edge of the pond. Swift tried to slide beside him, but his paws splayed out and he fell onto the ice, belly first. Don't worry, falling is how you learn, said Silver, helping him up. Swift thanked his older brother and happily continued sliding, shouting, Yip, yip, yippee! Twitch slid to the center of the frozen pond, so Silver and Swift stopped sliding to watch. They weren't exactly sure what their sister was about to do, but they had a feeling it would be fantastic. Twitch stood on her back paws and began to spin fast, then faster, then even faster. She was spinning so fast, she looked like a blur. The other animals also stopped gliding around the pond and watched Twitch in awe. She let out a joyful howl, then slid to a stop, kicking up a spray of ice into the air like confetti. The tiny, cool pieces of ice floated down onto her face, which was turned up toward the night sky with a big smile. Everyone at the frozen pond cheered for her, she was especially happy to see how much her brothers loved her big spin. They were cheering the loudest of all. Twitch glided back over to Silver and Swift. They all agreed that ice sliding was one of the most fun things to do in the whole forest. But all that sliding had made them hungry. They waved goodbye to the other animals and headed off to look for a snack. As they walked further and further from the pond, the forest got quiet again. Swift liked looking down at his paws as he walked. His white paws matched the white snow. And when he did look up, he spotted a bush nearby that was dotted with berries. The three foxes snacked on the fruit happily. The sweet taste was so refreshing after their busy night of collecting leaves and sliding around on the icy pond. The foxes were so busy eating that they barely noticed the rustling sound in the tree branches above them. Then, all of a sudden, a big pile of snow fell from the branches right on Silver's head. Silver cried out in surprise. Swift and Twitch couldn't help but giggle. Silver didn't mind. He thought it was pretty funny, too. As Silver wiped away the snow, an owl flew down from the branches. The owl apologized for the snowfall. They had been hopping around from branch to branch, trying to get warm. But they hadn't meant for all that snow to fall on Silver. Swift was sorry to hear that the owl was cold and so he suggested that they join the foxes and play along in the forest. Swift believed there was no better way to warm up than with a race. Swift wanted to have a sledding race. Silver, Twitch, and the owl thought that was a wonderful idea. But first, they needed sleds. So... Each fox found a piece of wood to use. Silver found the biggest piece for himself. Twitch found a medium-sized piece. And Swift found the smallest piece. The owl was much smaller than any of the foxes, even Swift. They couldn't find a piece of wood that was small enough to be their sled. Twitch's nose started to twitch as she got an idea. 
she found a piece of sturdy, flat tree bark. It was the perfect size for the owl to use as a sled. The foxes and the owl carried their sleds to the top of the nearby hill. Then they each steadied themselves atop their sleds. And when Swift called out, Go! They all raced down the hill. As the foursome sledded down, they all laughed with delight. Twitch was in the lead for almost the whole race, but right at the end, Swift caught up to her. Twitch and Swift reached the bottom of the hill at the exact same time. It was a tie. Everyone loved the sledding race so much that they decided to do it again. They raced over and over and over again. Sometimes their sleds tilted a little too far to one side and they fell into the snow, but that just made the race even more fun. The owl was having just as much fun as the foxes, but they were still cold. In fact, they were starting to shiver. Swift tried putting some leaves on the owl's head, like a little hat, but the leaves weren't very warm. Plus, they blew away in the wind very easily. Silver suggested that the owl rub their wings together, but that only worked for a moment. Twitch thought about it, and then her nose began to twitch. She had another idea. She suggested that they build a snow fort. Everyone nodded their approval. They loved that idea. The snow fort would be nice and warm. They could play in it together, and no one would be cold. Silver, Twitch, Swift, and the Owl got to work building the snow fort. The foxes pushed the snow with their noses until it formed a big pile. Then they patted the snow pile with their paws to form a wall. The owl picked up little piles of snow with their talons and flew over to the wall. The owl sprinkled the snow onto the top to make the wall higher. The foxes also added more snow to the wall with their paws. Soon, they had built a wall that was even taller than silver. But their work wasn't done yet. They needed another wall. So the foxes gathered more snow. This time, they made a snow pile that was even bigger than the first. It looked like a big, lumpy, white boulder. As the foxes shaped the snow pile into another wall, their paws made pat-patting sounds in the soft snow. The owl hopped around excitedly. They couldn't wait to get inside the snow fort. The wall was almost finished, but it needed to be a little higher. The owl picked up some snow and flew up to the top of the wall, then scattered more snow onto it until it was the same size as the other wall. The foxes and the owl were really enjoying the making of the snow fort walls. And it was a good thing too, because they had two more walls to go. As the foxes gathered and shaped the snow piles, and the owl scattered more snow from above, they all became very relaxed. It was such calming work that they didn't talk much. They just listened to the pat-pat of their paws against the snow, the soft thwomp of snow as the owl dropped it from their talons, and the quiet sounds of the forest. A gentle wind blew through the trees shaking the leaves. Besides that, it was quiet. Finally, the snow fort was finished. It looked like a big, white box with soft, round corners. It had four strong walls 
a snowy roof, and a small entrance in one wall to get inside. Silver put some big branches in front of the hole to make a door. The four animals stood outside and admired their hard work. They were all very proud. And, at that point, there was only one thing left to do. Go inside. The foxes and the owl went inside the fort. It was dark, since the roof blocked out most of the light. But a little sliver of moonlight crept in through the doorway, casting a soft glow on the white walls. It was much warmer inside the fort than outside in the forest, and the owl let out a sigh of relief. The owl was so comfortable inside the fort and wasn't cold at all anymore. The foxes were so proud of their fort that they wanted to show it to their mom and dad. Swift ran back to the burrow. He was such a fast runner that it was only a short time before he returned to the fort with Mom Fox and Dad Fox. And they had a surprise. Warm cinnamon tea. They had even brought a tiny, owl-sized mug of tea. The fox family and the owl sipped the delicious cinnamon tea. The owl was so very grateful to all the foxes and thanked them for the tea and for building this wonderful, warm fort. Silver, Twitch, and Swift told the owl that they couldn't have built the fort without their help. Then they thanked them for the most important thing of all, being their new friend. The owl smiled, then let loose a great, big yawn. One by one, the foxes yawned too. It had been a big, busy night. Twitch's nose began to twitch. She had one more idea, but she was so tired that her nose twitched much more slowly than before. Her idea was this. They could turn the snow fort into a rest fort. Mom, Dad, Silver, Twitch, Swift, and the Owl went outside into the dark night. They gathered a little more snow and brought it back inside the fort. Then they shaped the snow into snow pillows. Each snow pillow was the perfect size. Mom and Dad made the biggest snow pillows. Silver and Twitch's pillows were a little smaller. Swift's was even smaller. And the Yowl's was the smallest of all. The Fox family and the Yowl all lay their heads down on the snow pillows. The snow pillows were soft and cool, and the fort was quiet and dark. Mom Fox and Dad Fox began to hum a soft lullaby. The owl's yellow eyes fluttered closed first. Then Silver closed his eyes too. Twitch settled into her snow pillow and closed her eyes. Swift nuzzled his white paws against his chin. Then finally closed his eyes too. By the time Mom Fox and Dad Fox had finished their soft song, everyone in the fort was nearly asleep. Outside the fort, the whole forest was quiet, too. In fact, it was the quietest the forest had ever been.
been. The end.